Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video today, we are going to discuss a recent GATE 2020 question from the very interesting topic of ER diagrams. So, uh, as I had already discussed the details about ER diagrams, the different types of notations in my previous video, which you can view above here in the suggested videos. Yeah, so uh, in continuation to that, this is a direct question you can say, which if you have seen that video, you can directly answer that. So the question, let's see what the question is and how we answer it. So the question here says that which one of the following is used to represent the supporting many to one relationships of a weak entity set in an entity relationship diagram. So for many of you, this might be a very simple question, but for some of you who don't know this or want to revise back this. So this I had already discussed that uh, for a weak entity set weak entity set which has no independent existence it always needs to you know get associated with a strong entity set and for that uh, when it links with a strong entity set using a relationship that relationship is known as the identifying relationship now for the context of this question i have taken the same example as discussed in the previous video this is loan payment these are two entity sets okay and uh, in a particular loan payment system if you just consider that a person is you know issuing <coughs> requesting for a loan sorry requesting for a loan and uh, there is a certain payment number payment date and payment associated with the loan granted okay and the loan has a loan number and the amount for which loan was requested then the particular loan pay relationship over here this if you say this becomes an identifying relationship for this payment payment entity because this is a weak entity set okay and uh, now there will be many payments associated with this loan so this is basically a many in this end and one relationship so many to one relationship over here so sorry for this many to one relationship over here okay and uh, yeah and if we talk about this identifying relationship now what will this comprise of so this also we had discussed so it will always comprise of the primary key of the strong entity set which is over here this loan number so i'll just write loan number and what and the discriminator discri uh, the discriminator which is present in the weak entity set so the pay number over here is not the primary key but essentially it helps us to discriminate between a subset of records present in the payment entity set so therefore uh, you would say payment relation uh, relational table in and when you convert this entity set into a relational table okay so over here the other thing which comes over here is pay number now this becomes a relationship this becomes an identifying relationship for this payment table in this manner okay so now what is the notation for this the notation is this diamond with a double or bold border so the answer over here is a part okay so that's all for this particular video as you can see you many a times you just get direct questions in gate and which test your concepts uh, understanding so for those reasons you not only need to practice the numerical part but you also need to practice the notations in different subjects and also the different concepts so i have uh, already made a very you know uh, detailed video on this where, wherein I had discussed with various examples so you can please view that video I'll also post that in the suggested videos towards the end of this video so thank you all for viewing the video thank you so much hello friends thank you all for the wonderful support that you provide to my videos and our channel also uh, if you would like me to discuss any important concept any important question you are please free and welcome to post them in in the comment section below also if you'd like to read like the video please support it by 
pressing the like icon below and sharing it as much as possible if you are the one who have uh, been to my channel who are new to my channel and who has seen the video for the first time and would like to see more of such videos please press the subscribe icon below and also this bell icon which helps you keep notified with my latest videos also in the times of covid i would wish you a very healthy and safe uh, journey towards the health uh, towards the cure also in these times of covid i hope you all are taking all the necessary precautions and keeping yourself safe remember that health come health comes first and it is only the factor which helps you perform your other tasks so stay safe stay healthy keep learning keep practicing stay tuned thank you